you are welcome how to solve for p and q in this nice system of equation here yeah, let's divide this as equation one and here yeah, as equation two then from equation one we make q the subject and uh, that becomes k equals to a minus p then what we have here we substitute back in equation two from equation two what we have which is p times q equals to 20 we now be written as p times 8 minus p now equals to 20 then from here p we open the bracket then we have 8p minus p square equals to 20 now we use this to form a quadratic equation. Let's take everything on this side to this side. The minus p square becomes p square. Then plus 8 becomes minus 8 p here. Then we already have plus 20. Now we are left with 0 here, which we can put it here as equals to 0 here. Then from here, we have a quadratic equation that here we can solve. Using the quadratic formula, p equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. That is, from what we have here, b, okay, a, of course, from what we have here, a coefficient of p square, that one, then b, that's minus 8. C, that's 20. Then we substitute here. We have P now equals to minus minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square. Then minus 4 times 1 times 20. Then over 2 times 1. Then when we solve from here, we have P now equals to minus times minus become plus that's 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square become minus square that's plus 8 square that's 64 then minus 4 times 1 times 20 we have 80 then over 2 times 1 that's still 2 and this becomes p equals to 8 plus or minus square root of minus 16 then over 2 and here we can separate root minus 16 and that will become root 16 times root minus 1 and root 16 is 4 so we have 4 root minus 1 is i so root minus 16 give us 4 i so here we have p now equals to 8 plus or minus 4i over 2. And from here, separate this fraction as p equals to 8 over 2 plus or minus 4i over 2, which gives us p equals to 4 plus or minus 2 i so we have two possible values of p the first one p1 equals to 4 plus 2 i then the second one p2 equals to 4 minus 2 i that is from here we can get the corresponding value of q using the relation q equals to 8 minus p from equation 1 then on this side q1 will then be equals to 8 minus p1 which is 4 plus 2i then when we solve here minus open the bracket and q1 here equals to 8 minus 4 minus 2i so q1 now give us 4 minus 2i so on this side we have the set of solution p1 comma q1 will then be equals to 
P1 we have 4 plus 2i then comma 4 minus 2i then from this side as well we can get k2 using this same relation and k2 will be equal to 8 minus p2 that's into bracket 4 minus 2i then we have k2 here now equals to 8 minus 4 then minus times minus become plus 2i that is here k2 here becomes 8 minus 4 that's 4 then plus 2i so also the second set of solution here which is p2 comma k2 we now become p2 here we have 4 minus 2 high then k2 we have 4 plus 2 high so when we look at this we discover that here p1 same thing as the k2 here and p1 here is same thing as the p2 here so from what we are given in equation 1 and equation 2 we can check if the set of solution we have satisfy the given problem. Now let's use the first set of solution which we have, which is P1, P1, which is equal to 4 plus 2i, comma 4 minus 2i. So once this one satisfies, the other one also is satisfied. Now, substitute it this in equation 1. We have 4 plus 2i, then plus 4 minus 2i, that's p plus k, is equal to 8. Then here, minus 2i and plus 2i, we cancel out. Then what we have left is 4 plus 4, which is 8, and is equal to 8. So left hand side equals to right hand side. It satisfies equation 1 then for equation 2 as well when we substitute um, the value of p and k multiply is equal to 20 so we have 4 plus 2 i multiplied by 4 minus 2 i is equal to 20 from here then when we compare this with what we have in the relation a plus b times a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square so it implies that what we have here 4 is serving as a and 2 is serving as b then we can write this as 4 square minus 2i square is equals to 20 on this side then 4 square means 4 times 4, that's 16. Then minus here. You square 2, that's 2 square. Then we square high. That square is equal to 20. Then it implies we have 16 minus 2 square, 2 times 2, that's 4. Then times i square is minus 1. And is equal to 20 from here. Then what we have now is 16 minus times minus become plus that's plus 4 is equals to 20 and 16 plus 4 is 20 which is equals to 20 also the left hand side equals to right hand side and hence from here we conclude that the set of solution is satisfy the given problem which is also true for the second set of solution thank you for watching don't forget the steps please subscribe to my channel Thank you for always watching, but also please subscribe, give a thumbs up and share, it means a lot. Thank you, see you in the next class and bye for now.